स्वागत है तुम्हारा आज खुलेंगे मैथ्स का पिटारा बजाएंगे परसेंटेज के ढोलक मैं हूँ अमित मोदक ये स्टूडेंट्स वेरी वेरी वॉम वेलकम टू दस अमेजिंग वीडियो सेशन एंड येस वी विल बी डूइंग क्वेश्चन ऑन परसेंटेज विच वुड बी ऑफ ग्रेड फाइव एंड सिक्स लेवन येस दीज आर द क्वेश्चन विच आर बींग आस्ड विथ अ लेवल फोर सो वी विल बी फोकसिंग ऑन द क्वेश्चन बेस्ड ऑन इनक्रीज और डिक्रीज इन परसेंट कई बार क्या होता है ना सवाल जो है इंक्रीज कितना हुआ परसेंट या डिक्रीज कितना हुआ परसेंट इस तरह के सवाल पूछे जाते हैं ओके एंड वील बी फोकसिंग ऑन सच क्वेश्चन दैट इफ द क्वेश्चन इज बिंग आस्ड दैट फाइंड द इंक्रीज इन परसेंट फाइंड द डिक्रीज इन परसेंट फाइंड द चेंज इन द परसेंट वेदर इट इंक्रीज और डिक्रीज सच क्वेश्चन विल बी डील इन टूडेज वीक एंड इफ यू हैव नॉट सब्सक्राइब द चैनल do write it now it's very important because you will otherwise miss very very important things and this channel gives you super content to practice for your all the competitive exams as well as the school exams so if you have not done do it right now also share and like it sure so let's move on for so as i said that we are going to do the questions on increase or decrease percentage so we can have some formula here if the quantity is increased or decreased in some time then the percentage increase or percentage decrease is being calculated by the percentage increase increase in the quantity by original quantity in 200 in order to find the percentage so increase in the quantity divided by total it is your original quantity in 200 when we multiply 100 we get converted into percentage then similarly decrease we will find first decrease in the quantity divide by the original quantity and then multiply it with the 100 so it would be more clear if we do some questions so let's say for example with the one question here uh, if the net profit of a company it says that if the net profit of a company grew from 50 crores and a 50 crores in 2003 to 75 crores in 2004 so from 2003 to 2004 one company has got the profit of from 50 crore to 75 crores so we have to find the percentage increase in the profit now what you can see here in 2003 50s uh, sorry 50 crore is the profit and 2004 75 crore is the profit so in order to find the percentage increase first of all we have to find that how much there has been an increase so increase is equal to increase in quantity how much it's 75 minus 50 crores so we get here 5 and 7 minus 5 is 20 25 crores is being an increase in the quantity now as we have seen the formula that increase in the quantity by original so originally it was 50 crores that came to 25 uh, that came to 75 so we will just put the value as we can see the net profit being 75 minus 50 is 25 crores and we will find the profit okay we will find the increase in the percentage of the profit that's 25 crore was the increase in the quantity divided by the original quantity that was the profit in 2003 that was the original one so 25 divided by 50 in 200 we gets 50% so there has been a 50% increase in the profit there has been an increase of 50% okay let's do another question ha na rajan salary has increased from 7200 to 8100 
the percentage increase in his salary is equal to come on students i want you all to solve this question rajan's salary has increased from 7200 to 80 uh, 8100 or we can say 8100 so what has been the percentage increase in the salary chalo write on the comment box quickly all right chalo let's discuss then i'm hoping everybody has got the answer so initially it was 7200 increase to 8100 so how much increase increase in salary is equal to final that is 8100 minus 7200 so it gives us 00 11 minus 2 is 9 8 becomes 7 now 770 so there has been an increase of 900 rupees now to find out the percentage increase in salary would be 900 is the increase divided by original original was 7200 in 200 in order to convert into percentage so two zeros cancel 9 ones are 9 eights are you can cancel it uh, four twos are Four twos are eight. Four fives are twenty. That means we can say twenty-five by two percent. Twenty-five by two percent. That is, we can convert it into twelve point five percent. And therefore, B is our right option. B is the right option. So let's solve another question. Suppose the number of illiterate persons. students very careful the number of illiterate illiterate persons in a country decreased from 150 lakhs to 100 lakhs okay the illiterate person since the the government is lot of focuses of there on the education system so therefore let's say the illiterate person number has decreased from 150 lakhs to 100 lakhs in a time span of 10 years in a time span of 10 years so what is the percentage decrease pause the video and solve it quickly yes did you get aha chalo i'm hoping everybody has done so percentage decrease will see Okay, we can find it very easily. Percentage decrease, let's say. So initially it was one fifty, reduces to hundred. So what does the change? The change, how much decrease has been there from one fifty to hundred? That is changes fifty. Initially how much it was there? One fifty original into hundred. One zero get cancelled. So five ones are five threes. So it gives hundred by. 3% decrease that's around 33.33% okay students let's move on to another question a man got a 10% increase in his salary a man got a 10% increase in salary if his new salary is 154000 what is his original salary it says there has been an increment of 10% in the salary and new salary now becomes 1005 uh, 1054 1 lakh sorry 1 lakh 54000 so find his original salary okay check so what we can do is let us consider let us consider original salary b rupees x okay x is our favorite variable huh? let it be x so as per the question it says that x amount was the salary previously now it has been a increase of 10% of x it means 10 by 100 into x okay and that will give us sum of 1000 uh, sorry 1 lakh 
one lakh fifty four thousand. So we can add this x plus x by ten that gives us if we take the LCM eleven x by ten equal to one lakh fifty four thousand. So x will be one five four triple zero into ten divided by eleven. So how much it gives eleven one zero eleven eleven four zero forty four three zeros fourteen into one is fourteen. And four zeros one two three four. So this gives original salary. Initially it was one lakh forty thousand. Now it increased to one lakh fifty four thousand. Okay, it increased from one lakh forty thousand to one lakh fifty four thousand. And there has been an increment of ten percent. Okay, students. Let's move on to another question. A basket contains three fifty x. Okay, let's say a basket has been there where the number of x, number of x, where three fifty. Now it says twelve percent of x are rotten. Twelve percent of x were rotten. So, how many eggs are good enough to be sold? So, the question is, how many good eggs are there that need to be sold? That need to be sold. Pause the video and solve it. Okay. So, let's see, students, what the answer should be there. So, let's uh, find that number of rotten eggs. Now we have do not have number, so let's say let's find twelve percent. That is twelve by hundred of what total eggs were three fifty. Total eggs were three fifty. So five twos are ten, five sevens are two ones are two sixes are. Means forty two eggs were rotten. Okay, forty two eggs were rotten. So good eggs. Number will be equal to what? Three fifty was total, out of which forty two eggs were bad, and are rotten. So we can say ten minus two is eight. Four minus four is zero. Three hundred eggs were the good eggs to be sold. Three hundred eight eggs were the good eggs to be sold. All right, sure. So here comes the very favorite quiz time. So here comes first question. In a south Uh, in a scout camp, forty percent of the scouts were from Gujarat state, and twenty percent of these were from Ahmedabad. You know, Ahmedabad is, na, in the Gujarat state itself. So you have to tell find the percentage of scouts in the camp from Ahmedabad. Okay, that means we have to tell in the whole. How much percent is being occupied by the candidates of Ahmedabad? Okay, sure. So I'm hoping you have done. So let's discuss. So as it says, forty percent of scout were Gujar uh, from Gujarat, twenty percent from Ahmedabad. Okay, so let's say that the let the total number of scouts be hundred. Okay, so from Gujarat state. Okay, let's say total was hundred out of hundred. Forty percent of scouts were from Gujarat. So forty percent of hundred, if I take, so we get a forty as a number. So from Gujarat state, forty percent of the scouts were there. Okay, and if I take a hundred as a basic quantity, so in hundred, forty students would be from our Gujarat state. Okay, we are considering hundred as an easy task. Okay, it's not mandatory that hundred is always being the right answer here. It's just a basic fundamental to make it easier to calculate. 
so from gujarat 40 now as it says that 20% from ahmedabad so we can say scouts from ahmedabad okay but ahmedabad so 20% 20% out of what all this all the candidates from the gujarat state they cannot participate from other state so 20% of 20% uh, of 40 means 20 by 100 of 40. So that gives 0, 0 gets cancelled. 8. So 8 scouts were there from Ahmedabad. Now this 8, 8 student, if we take 100, it's 8. So we can say that this 8 out of 100, as we have seen that considering 100 as a number of, total scouts so in 100 we can say 8 in 100 8 scouts are from Ahmedabad so therefore percentage is 8 percent because we always calculate the percent with the denominator as 100 so 8 upon 100 gives 8 percent ok 